Hello, welcome everyone to this uh, segment. Today I'm going to talk about installation of VirtualBox. First of all, what is a VirtualBox? VirtualBox is um, a type of virtual machine and uh, some of you already know or uh, may not know. A virtual machine is another machine that you can install on your computer and it will run as a separate computer on top of your computer. So you can actually run applications or do a whole lot of other things that you do with your computer with this virtual machine and it will be completely isolated from your computer. So even if it's infected by a virus or something is broken in it, it doesn't affect your computer. It's pretty awesome. It, it's a way to actually run multiple computers in a virtual environment inside the one computer you have without spending the money. And um, I have, I've been using a VMware a workstation for quite a while now. And I installed version 14 this uh, last August. And it has a lot of problems to it in the sense that um, it has not successfully ran uh, the Fedora Linux that I was trying to use and to get my students to use. So it was, it's, it's, it, it was a headache. Um, to try to do um, all the things that y it's needed to be done. So I started exploring alternative uh, option and I'm going to try Oracle uh, Virtual Box. I, I see here on their page that uh, it has a support for Mac operating system and many of those students of mine who had this problem uh, had Mac operating system so they couldn't run VMware. So this particular uh, virtual box will, uh, I hope, will solve the, the problem of uh, compatibility issues that they were dealing with. And um, just a little bit of history f for you. Uh, this uh, virtual box was uh, initially developed by a, a company called Initech. Initech was acquired uh, back in 2008 by Sun Microsystems, which subsequently was taken over by Oracle um, in 2010. So Oracle now is a current developer and um, maintainer of this uh, virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring it up and try to install it. And in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, bring up my browser so I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna go to virtual box uh, it's already there but because I've already uh, uh, clicked on it before but before I go ahead let me check uh, make sure that the one I downloaded before is not there okay so it's already there but the way to download it is to click on this box once you go to the web page here you click on it and you can actually save to any uh, folder that you want. I've already saved mine to the uh, downloads folder and I'm going to install it from there. This is it right there among uh, these are the executable files. So I'm going to double click on that and start the installation. And while this is going on, I'm going to bring out the CD and uh, insert it, the DVD for the um operating system that we run inside it so I'm gonna click next and then accept the default here and click next and I'm gonna accept all the default settings uh, the checked uh, boxes here and I'll say next and I'll say yes and I will start my installation good hopefully we go well So here I'm going to say yes. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to click um, 
finish and because I want this uh, Oracle virtual box to start immediately I will click finish and uh, let's see what happens it's going to open up most likely and uh, that's it right there it shows that uh, with the Windows 10 I've installed initially is there so I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove it uh, remove and delete all files associated with it so now that I have done that what I'm going to do next is try to recreate reinstall that operating system and um, for you to do that you actually may need the 90 day trial version from Microsoft if you go to this page there microsoft.com en dash us eval center evaluate windows 10 enterprise if you go to the uh, browser and put in that address right there it will allow you to download the 90 day trial of windows 10 that you can use uh, if you click there say iso image enterprise which is for the um, windows 10 enterprise edition and uh, once you click here it will take you through filling a few uh, if one or uh, two forms and then allow you to download that image but i do not need need that image because i already have um, the physical dvd uh, for this that i've already inserted um, into the d drive so i'm going to go ahead and close my browser and uh, proceed with the installation so here I'm going I'm going to say new and I'm going to call it uh, Windows 10 in order to create the new operating system inside this machine. Uh, so Windows 10. Okay. If I'm creating Linux, I type Fedora Linux and it's going to bring Linux option here and my system is Windows 10 64 bit some will say 32 bit if yours is 32 bit make sure to check and you will select that when you go to system um, um, settings you'll be able to see that okay so um, I'm gonna click next and there is asking to take up to two megabytes of my um memory which i can i can't afford because this computer itself has it has uh, four megabytes of memory out of which 3.885 is available so i'm going to reduce this by far to avoid this locking up on us while I'm doing the installation so I'm gonna go down all the way to 12 hopefully it will allow us to use uh, this uh, smaller size 1024 mega megabytes um, so the recommended memory size is this uh, so we're going far below that um, not a good idea though I don't recommend it but for the purpose of getting this to work we're gonna try to uh, do that take the um, the lower memory option uh, 15 to let me leave it at 15 20 and click next so your computer may have up to 8 megabytes Uh, this one has four so I'm trying to make sure that the virtual machine does not take too much from it so I'm going to say create virtual hard disk now so it's going to create a virtual hard disk for me and that will leave it with the first option there the virtual disk image and I'm going to say next dynamically allocated yes and uh, it's going to be Windows 10 and um, I'm going to make this uh, maybe 100, 100 um, gigabits. Uh, what a minute. Uh, gigabits. Now let me go back to 50. Oh, let's say 60. Let's make it 60. All right, so 60. 60 gigabytes okay 60 zero, zero. 
60.0 and I'm going to say create and it will create a 60 gigabyte hard drive okay um, so once this is done what I'm going to do next is go to settings and once I go to settings I'm gonna to go to uh, storage and I want to uh, input that uh, DVD that has the Windows 10 in it so if um if I go over here if I've already downloaded the virtual image the ISO image from the Microsoft uh, website I would choose the first option the net with the 90 day trial but I'm not using that I'm using the physical DVD so I'm gonna go ahead and cho choose a uh, host drive DVD because it's in the host computer which is my computer that's hosting the uh, virtual machine so once I click that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and um, that operating system is there so once this is done I'm gonna go ahead and click start and um, see if we have um, if we have successfully installed this hopefully it won't uh, disappoint us so let me go ahead and uh, click start to start the operating system um, yep default start Let's see if that happens okay it looks like uh, it's doing it um, yep so as you can see the Windows logo is there and that means the operating system is loading All right, so as you can see here, the installation lo looks like it's going to be successful. Now it's giving us the opportunity to set up um, the operating system. So from this moment, we are good. We, we, you know, you can just uh, go by the default and set your operating system up completely from here. Um, and uh, I should be able to go ahead and uh, install it. So at this point, that's all you need to make it work. And, um, you know, let's see how this, uh, this phase uh, uh, goes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click accept. And it's going to say that. I'm going to say next. And uh, all right, uh, I'm going to look at these two options quickly and then make a decision.
Okay, so for a new um, installation, we're going to do this one. And from here, can go ahead and um, complete that installation. So this takes an unusually long time. This is going to take a very, very long time to set up. So we're probably not going to wait for for it to go through that whole process. Uh, Windows 10 is a very huge file. The operating system is pretty huge, so this this is going to take a while. And um, so we're not going to go through the whole process, but it's going to finish the installation. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it off, but at least you get the idea. Um, meanwhile, let's watch it for maybe a minute or two and uh, capture what goes on before we uh, exit. All right, at this point, I think we have um, enough information. So it, it, it's pretty easy from here to complete the uh, installation. Uh, basically, the processes will involve copying Windows files, getting files ready for installation, installing features, installing updates, and uh, finishing up. So this is a pretty intuitive. Uh, shouldn't be much of a, a hard work from there. So this, this is pretty successful. Um, I had to try this a few times uh, because of uh, so many software uh, incompatibilities that uh, kept going on uh, with the different applications we're running here. So I got uh, I, I had to go back a few times to tweak a few things here and there to get this work to work. So uh, this uh, indicates a, a remarkable level of success um, um, after this uh, these many trials uh, today. Um, so at this point, we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to say thank you for watching and uh, uh, be sure to click like and uh, send me those uh, comments and keep keep them coming. I've uh, got a lot of uh, uh, very good uh, positive comments from the previous videos. So keep those uh, comments coming. And uh, if you have any ideas or that you want to uh, suggest, uh, something I can... Um, make a video off and put out there for everybody. Uh, be sure to send that to me. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.